How do we find area of oblique triangles? Well, we have two different um, formulas that we can use. If we're given two sides and an included angle, that included angle means the angle in between those two sides, um, then we can use this formula right here. And so this is always a side angle side triangle. If you don't, if it's not set up like a side angle side, you might have to use law of sines or cosines. Now, if you know all three sides, A, B, and C, then we can use Heron's area formula. So this is if we have a side, side, side. And then if we were taking area of a right triangle, we could just use 1 half BH. Okay. Okay, so uh, in this example, we have a triangle with sides 43, 53, and 72. So we know all three sides. So we can plug it into this formula. Uh, well, in the formula, we see this S. And to find S, we have to add the three sides and divide by 2. So my first step is to find S. So S is equal to the sum of the three sides, 43 plus 53 plus 72, all divided by 2. So the S that we're using will be... 84 centimeters. And then now we can plug it into our area formula. Area equals the square root of 84 times that 84 minus each side. So 84 minus 43 times 84 minus 53 times 84 minus 72. So after calculating that, we find that the area is 1,131.9 centimeters squared. Don't forget that the area is always given in units squared. All right, uh, when we have side angle side, or if any time that you just don't have side, 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 we're going to use this formula. The area is half of two sides times the sine of the angle in between. So like, if you look at this triangle right here, you can look at any of these formulas, like half of AC, so A times C times sine of B, the angle in between. Okay, so that's always going to work. So let's do an example where we have a triangle, and, oof, that's a bad triangle, but whatever. Uh, 52 meters, 90 meters, and 102 degrees between. So this is side angle side. So I just plug in the two sides and the angle in between into the area formula. Area equals one half of the two sides, 52 times 90, times the sine of the angle in between. Make sure that my calculator is in degrees. And the area of this triangle will be 2,288.9 meters squared. Alright, for our last example, we're told that side A is 720 inches, angle A is 40 degrees, and side B is 500 inches. So, drawing that out, okay, if side A is 720 inches, and side B is 500, and angle A, which would be across from side A, is 40 degrees. Mm, I just won't put the degree mark. Okay. Well, then, I don't know angle B or angle C or side C. Now, I don't have side, 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 um, so I'm not going to be able to use the, the first formula. Um, but I could use the second if I just knew this angle in between the two, because I have two sides and I need the included angle. But I only have this 40. So I have to think, okay, uh, what can I use to figure out these other angles? Well, since I have a side and its opposite angle, I immediately think law of sines. So the law of sines tells me that the sine of 40 over 720 
will equal the sine of angle B over 500. Now we weren't, actually, we don't need angle B. We need angle C. But if I find angle B, then I'll know angle C from taking them all away from 180. So cross multiply, divide, take the inverse sign. So we'll have the inverse sine of 500 times sine 40 over 720. That gives me angle B is equal to how much? 26.5 degrees. Okay, so to find angle C, I just take those two angles away from 180. So C is going to equal 180 minus angle A minus angle B. So angle C is 113.5 degrees. All right. So now I have the two sides, the included angle. I can plug that into my area formula. Area equals one half of the two sides multiplied times the sine of their included angle. So the area of this triangle comes out to 165,070 inches squared. And that's all for the area of oblique triangles.